Hi guys, and welcome to my Project Pan 2016 update number two. And I'm working through a couple of the projects, a uh, couple of products in my stash to use them up by the end of 2016. So I just want to apologize if I sound a little congested. I'm just getting over a cold. Um, feeling much better, but I still sound a little stuffy. I have a lot of exciting progress to share with you guys this update. So first off, at the last update I would finished the uh, Benefit Professional Primer, so that's done and out of the way. The next thing that I was working on was a lipstick from Red Apple Lipstick in Coral Crush, and ta-da! I have finished it. Um, I mean, there is a little bit of product still in there, but it is totally flat with the little plastic part that holds the lipstick in the tube, and I really hate using a lip brush. It's very annoying to me. So I'm not going to go ahead and dig that out, and I'm very tired of this color, but I did finish it. In my intro video, I had said that I had wanted to pan another coral shade, but I decided that I'm really tired of coral, so I wanted to... Um, pick a different color to pan and so the color I am panning next is another red apple lipstick it is strawberry lips it's actually my second tube of this color I have finished one already and uh, one of the things that I was sad that I didn't do last time was mark my progress so you can see the top line was where I started with this uh, lipstick which was about halfway through September um, when I finish the other one, and we're right there at that little second mark. So, a little bit of progress on this lipstick, which makes me super excited. Um, the next item is my Garnier BB Cream. I have not made a lot of progress with this this month. I've had some acne and dry skin issues right here on my chin, and you may have noticed it in the last video. Um, and I've been trying to figure out what is going on there because I haven't really changed my facial routine at all and I got really frustrated so I decided I was just going to stop using every single product <laughs> that I was using on this area of my face and replace it with something new. So I haven't made a lot of progress with this. I mean, there's not a ton left. I'm kind of down to here. I did use it for a little bit. Um, but I did switch over to using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, just a translucent powder all over my face. I really wanted to give my face a break um, this month. Um, so I'm not marking my progress on here. It's still uh, pretty full. I'm right about right here on here. Um, but I have been using that instead. So we'll see um, if I go back to the BB cream or if I just decide to toss it. Um, it is getting a little bit old as well. So next up is my palette. I have been panning the Tarte B Magnificent palette and I made a lot of progress on this palette this month. If you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen some of my new pans but I hit pan on three shadows this month. I'm super excited. So here is my palette. Da -da -da. So um, last month I already had pan on this white shade and also this uh, light kind of tan shade. Um, but this month I hit pan on this taupe shade, this mauve shade, and also the brown shade. So I'm super excited about that progress um actually i hit pan on those three shades within a couple of days of each other i was really surprised they all kind of went at once um kind of the way that i've been wearing this palette is i've been using this pink shade to all over the lid to set my um eye primer then i have been using this mauve shade all over the lid as my base color i've been using this shade in the crease this shade is a transition color and then this shade as a inner corner and brow bone highlight um, 
And then occasionally I'll go into the crease with this purple shade if I'm feeling a little fancy. And then I was using this brown shade and also this tan shade kind of mixed together, which is why there's kind of a great big giant hole down in the corner, um, to set my eyebrows and also this dark shade to set my liner, um, which was actually a really good color for my eyebrows, but my hair is lighter than my eyebrows. Um, so once I hit pan on that dark brown shade, I switched over to using this kind of taupey shade by itself in my brows, and it's a lot lighter and more subtle, and I like that a lot better. I am planning on going back to darker hair um, sometime soon, so I might go back to using this dark brown shade in my brows. We'll see how it looks. Um, I have not used the black shade at all, and I have been actually using... Um, the blush quite a bit and I don't know if you can see but basically the print is pretty much gone in the middle except for at the very very bottom and the very very top the design is completely gone but there's a lot of blush in there so there's a little bit of progress going on and I've made a little bit of a dip in that pink shade that's gonna be the hardest one so my goals for next month are to hit the side of the pan on the cream shade and keep working on that to increase the dip on this light pink shade this is the one that needs the most progress and um, just to increase the pan on the other shades and I'm not sure about the purple shade if I'm going to work on that or not I do I have a purple smoky eye look that I like um, and I haven't been wearing it because it didn't really go with the coral lipstick so I'm gonna have to play around with that I might wear that some more this month too and I'm not working on the brown or the black shade so um that is my palette. I'm really, really excited about the progress I've made. Um, I was kind of looking around at my palettes and trying to think about, you know, next year in comparison, like how difficult this palette has been versus, a, you know, a brand new full palette, something really big, like the Too Faced Cho uh, Chocolate Bonbons palette that I have. And so I actually went and I wanted to figure out how much product was in this palette. And I was really shocked at how much product was in this palette because if you see it looks kind of small, especially, you know, compared to something like this. This palette looks huge and this palette looks kind of smaller, you know? But actually the pans on these shades are huge. They're really big and they're actually really, really deep as well. Um, I thought I was a lot closer to hitting pan on the uh, taupe shade and the mauve shade than I actually was. So I went and I actually calculated there are 18.4 grams of eyeshadow in the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. So that looks like this, this one. And then for the Be Magnificent palette, I calculated not including the, br the blush, there's 19.6 grams of eyeshadow in here. 19. This palette has over a whole gram of eyeshadow plus a blush over the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. So, yeah, I picked this because I thought it would be easy because it had fewer colors, but I think it's actually kind of a harder palette to do because um, there are less color and the pans of each are really, really huge. I mean, each of these ones is over 2 grams and these ones here are over 3 grams. I know. So, I would definitely say if you're thinking about doing a um, pan that palette that you actually look up and calculate how many grams of product are in your palette even if it looks smaller because obviously um, something that has a smaller pan per color is going to be a lot easier to hit pan on than something like this which is really huge. So I'm glad that this was already a well loved palette because otherwise I don't know that I would really see any progress going on here. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of a little bit shocking to me when I did that. But it's okay because I am still making progress and working through this palette, but it was just kind of like, hmm, yeah, maybe I should have made a better decision there. But anyways, so um, I have been wearing this palette every single day except for one day this week when I was sick. Um, I didn't wear any makeup. Um, but I have been playing around with some of my other colors as well. Um, 
I like to wear this shade here, Bordello by Urban Decay, sometimes with that mauve shade to give it some little sparkle. And today I'm wearing this palette, the Golden Day Sultry Night by Tarte. I'm wearing the bronzy shade and on all over the lid and this blue shade kind of under the lower lash line um, for kind of a fun summery look. But the great thing about this palette and picking a nice palette with a lot of neutrals and mattes is that you have highlighting shades, you have transition shades, you have a nice liner shade. So you can really use at least some of these shades with pretty much any eye look that you're going for. So that's been really fun. I let myself play with it a little bit more this month. So um, makeup purchases. I did go ahead and allow myself to replace the lipstick that I panned. And the one that I picked is my Holy Grail lipstick, which is the Audrey color from um, Red Apple Lipsticks. And it's this nice pink shade I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. It's very subtle, very pretty. And I love this color. I actually have uh, this one that I have panned. So this would be my second tube of it. And um, so, yeah. So this one I was holding off on uh, getting rid of this one until I panned another one to order two at the same time. But I decided just to order the one because I really missed it. And with my skin issues, I did decide to purchase some new skincare items this month. I got this which is a little sampler of the Benefit Skin Care line. There's a facial moisturizer, an eye moisturizer, um, a sunscreen, a face wash, a facial serum, and then a day moisturizer with SPF. So I just got this this week, so I'm still kind of testing this out to see um, how my face likes it. So far it's been really good. Um, I've noticed that my chin is a lot less flaky, so Obviously my skin has been crying out for some better moisturizer. And I also purchased some micellar water to help um, with my uh, makeup removal because I've been noticing that um, I'm wearing a lot more makeup, new makeup, and it uh, definitely sticks a lot better to my face than I'm used to. So that's that. And I have also have on order a second palette. I said before that I was looking to increase my collection by a neutral palette, which I picked the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon, and then also a more colorful palette, which you guys will see next month because it is not here yet. So thank you all for watching my uh, project pan video, and uh, let me know if you are doing your own project pan so I can follow along. Thanks for watching.